So you've decided to take an island vacation this year. Which island do you choose? They're all tropical. They all have beaches and lush landscapes and colorful houses tended by friendly people. So they're all pretty much the same, right? Well, not exactly. There is one island that does things a little differently. It offers a unique fusion of African and British cultures, an island that hasn't been homogenized, and supersized, and commercialized away from even being Caribbean anymore. An island that puts its magnificently jagged cliffs against whatever the Atlantic brings, and yet caresses the Caribbean with beaches that are the envy of the world. An island that reaches past all of your stress and gets inside of you and assures you that there is still one absolutely authentic Caribbean experience remaining to be had on this planet. Barbados, this island has powers, a mystical allure that has drawn travelers for centuries. An amazing world where green monkeys and flying fish mingle with laughter and innocence and sugarcane and breathtaking natural beauty. This is not your average Me Too Island vacation. Not by a long stretch of beach. Which is why this most perfect island may not be perfect for everyone. The easternmost island in the Caribbean means no fast food conglomerates, no private resort beaches, smaller, more upscale hotels with warm and welcoming Bayesian hospitality, and true Bayesian days and nights that pull you in and wrap you up in sights and sounds and tastes and feelings that are hard to describe and yet impossible to forget. Barbados is a destination for true travelers, and there's a reason for this. It was designed that way by Mother Nature. A little more remote, a little harder to get to, and a whole lot harder to leave. An island for people who have a burning desire to take a vacation and never, ever give it back. So you can choose from hundreds of Caribbean-like destinations on this big planet or the last real one on Earth.